The Colorado College Tigers returned from their two-week road trip in Minnesota, where they saw mixed results winning and losing one game each of the two nights. They faced Minnesota and Minnesota Duluth. Coach Mayotte highlighted the difficulty of road trips just like this. It's just it's out of routine, I think, is the biggest challenge with it is, you know, college is so routine. Uh, you play Friday, Saturday, you get Sunday off, you practice Monday through Thursday, and you hit repeat. Um, it is so routine, and it is so consistent that when you break that that routine and you break that consistency, what your condition to do changes. And so, you know, it was good to see that we were able to um, – to fight back in those games with a broken routine. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't think there's any secret that teams that win championships, uh, you obviously need talent and you need those things, but it's usually the toughest team. And I think what we are learning is that we have the ability to be really tough. The last game against Duluth was a nail biter with the Tigers ultimately coming out on top in overtime. Thanks to a goal by Noah Leba, one minute and 39 seconds into overtime. Tigers goalie Caden Embarico was excellent Saturday night with 34 saves, including 17 shots alone in the third period. Incredibly, he made five saves during a penalty kill with seven minutes remaining in the third period, ensuring the overtime opportunity where Leba closed the deal. What we've come to expect from them and what makes them so good usually is their consistency and their ability to possess pucks and hang on the pucks and be big and strong and fast and put pressure on other teams. Uh, and it allows them to have more possession in ozone time and just wear teams down. And, and I think, you know, they, they don't wear down, uh, especially Noah. Uh, he's, he's an incredible athlete. Uh, he's in incredible shape. He's a phenomenal skater that even, you know, you can play him 20 plus minutes a night and he still has the same type of jump, the same type of acceleration. And I think that's a big part of why he thrives, you know, late in games is because uh, his tank, is he's still got more gas in it than most. This lifts the Tigers to 17th place in the NCHC. And as a reminder, you can catch the Tigers live on Mountain TV January 20th at 4 p.m. And find the rest of the broadcast scheduled on our website, mtn-tv.com sports.